President Uhuru Kenyatta appeals for a speedy resolution to the South Sudan conflict to end the suffering of innocent civilians. A memorial service in honor of the foreign civilians and police officers killed in Capedo is held as families seek compensation. And as KCP ends, we meet a 13-year-old who was involved in an accident but sat for his exams in hospital and still targets to join Mangu High School, hoping to get 400 marks. Good morning and welcome. My name is Florence Ndongo. President Hiro Kenyatta has appealed for a speedy resolution to the South Sudan conflict. He urged the parties involved in the crisis to shelve their differences and end the conflict that has caused untold suffering to the people of the Horn of African nation for close to one year now. A service was held yesterday in Nairobi in memory of the 19 administration police officers and three civilians who died at Kasarani area in North Capedo. The officers who met their ultimate death while pursuing raiders in the area are said to be in the service for only six months and were not familiar with the area. The families of the bereaved are now uh, seeking for compensation as they make arrangements on when to bury their loved ones. And may the Lord rest their souls in eternal peace. And now moving on, corruption has been the greatest obstacle towards nation building. And with this in place, the University of Nairobi has organized a two days annual refresher training in Nairobi for corruption prevention committees and integrity officers as part of efforts to mainstream the fight against corruption. The acting vice chancellor, Professor Peter Mbibi, revealed that this is meant to improve efficiency and better service delivery in the public sector. Brian Ching now reports. Thank you, Brian, for that report. And now, starting up a business can be a daunting task, especially with limited funds. With a competition market where new entrepreneurial ideas are invented every day, it requires a lot of skills to keep the business afloat. Growth Africa's Accelerator program is a platform where entrepreneurs showcase their enterprises and business ideas to a pool of local and international invest investors and partners with the aim of receiving funds and or partnerships to grow their enterprises. No. And that's the Kenyan version of Shark Tank. And do you know 99% of the population uh, can work in a business that has already been started and it's only 1% of the world population that can actually have, that have the ability to start the businesses themselves. Now, you know, I wonder if you're the 99% or you're the 1%. And now moving on, three days of the Kenya Certificate Primary Education came to an end yesterday with over 800,000 candidates sitting for the 2014 exams. At Kenyatta National Hospital, two candidates have been sitting for the exams and we talked to Edwin Wandera, who has been in hospital for the last three weeks. The 13-year-old was involved in an accident but targets to join Mango High School with over 400 marks. All right, thank you so much, Henry Miner, for that report. 17 pupils at the Tanya Integrated Rehabilitation Center have completed their KCP education as the exams came to an end yesterday. Despite being abled differently, the children are looking forward to a bright future and joining the secret schools of their choice. Let's take a look at that report. All right, still, I'm glad you're still watching GBS Morning News with me, Florence Nungo. Stay tuned, Sports News is up next. Welcome and let's throw some punches now. Hall of Fame boxing referee Joe Kotze has broken down the boxing fight pitting Filipino legend Manny Pacquiao and Chris Allegri tipping it will be a close fight. Pacman will face Allegri on the 22nd November, a match that will decide whether he will win a bout against unbeaten pound for pound a welterweight champion Floyd Mayweather Jr. mid next year. 
Well, Palookas, these guys come to fight. They know the game very well. They're well schooled. And I think the fans are going to see uh, it's a toss up fight. You know, uh, it's going to be a fight that the fans are going to remember for a long time. I think it's not going to be an easy fight for either fight. It's going to be a war. To some matters of speed, the KCB uh, rally will be held on the 27th, on the 23rd of this month. Uh, that is this coming Monday, uh, Sunday. Let's take a look at that report. All right, and as DBS TV continues to not only inform but entertain last night, we aired live a UEFA Europa League match where Inter Milan and uh, Etienne shared a 1-1 one -one draw. And here are the highlights. And that was the highlights of the UEFA Europa League match aired live right here on GBS TV. And keep it right here as we always air one UEFA Champions League match, a UEFA Europa League match. And this coming Saturday and all other Saturdays will be airing um, German Bundesliga um, match. My name is Florence Nung and that is how we end this morning news bulletin. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, we'll see each other on Monday.